Just gonna do a, a walleye filleting how-to video. Um, I put up another one earlier. I don't even know if I have it on YouTube, but on my Facebook I got it up. But it's just a real quick one side. Uh, I haven't seen any really, really in-depth good uh, filleting videos. So I'm gonna give you guys mine. Um, I've worked at the lodge for three summers now and I've cleaned no word of a lie, uh, an old guide used to keep track of how many he cleaned in a summer. He did do about 1,500 in one summer. So for me being up here for three summers, do the math, that's quite a bit of fish. Um, my record filleted is 22 seconds. My record skin and filleted is 34 seconds. I'm not going to ramp it up today because I want to show you guys exactly how to get all the meat off the fish. You're not going to dull your knife uh, a lot of people I used to do it before cut through the ribs you know right through the ribs then you go around the ribs that's good if you're at the cottage and you know maybe you got three four walleye drinking a beer you're gonna fillet those fish for 20 minutes some nights when we have massive groups come in and uh, the lodge is full me and the other guides have to do about 70 walleye in a night you would dull your blade instantly if you did that you need to learn how to clean a fish without ever going through any of the bones. First, start off like you always would. Just the nerves. You do your initial cut right there, right? Then, after you do your initial cut, like anyone would do, then you come around to the back side. This is where it gets a little different. Uh, now people would usually cut the belly through here, cut all the way down, get their fillet off, and then go to the other side. All you gotta do is take just the tip of your knife, just the tip, run it along the back till you get here. You're gonna go through the anus. Keep your knife on a downward angle. Well, that's how you're gonna get the most amount of meat. Right through. When you're a fishing guide and you're working at a fish camp, you always have other things on the go, so back to business now. Here we go. So now what I've done, a cut through there. I've only done my initial cut right here. Remember, I just did the tip all the way through. So now the next step, get your knife. Can you hear? That's me just touching the rib cage. You want to get right to the rib cage. Don't go through it. Sometimes it's hard with a, a sharp knife. Mine could use a sharpening, so I'm not able to sh cut right through them. Once you get to about this part, it's uh, the hardest part to learn. Keep practicing. It might take you a while. Now I'm pretty much on the other side of the rib cage. I put my knife here, and with my other hand, just pull. See that? You get, you can even see the bristles of the rib cage that I pulled out. Now you slice along there. I didn't miss any meat at all. I cut the Y bones out. Some people don't cut the Y bones out. Um, when you have a customer, and you cook them a shore lunch, and they complain about bones in their shore lunch, then you want to cut out every single bone. So I cut out all my Y bones. I don't do you let the knife, I don't saw with my knife when I take the skin off. I just kind of pull the skin and leave my knife in one position. Done. Pulled off. Now you can separate the Y bone. There you go. Perfect. All the meat you could get, nothing wasted.
Now we have two perfect boneless fillets. However way you want to cook them, do it up. Before I stop the video, because I could stop it right there, that's a really good how-to walleye video. You got your two fillets, they're all boneless. You want something that uh, you're going to really impress your friends with. Um, it's going to be walleye shrimp and deep fried walleye cheeks. So I'll show you how to cut both of those out and I'll explain uh, how you're going to cook them right at home. Right here. If you stick your knife through, pull up. Cut on an angle just like that all the way down through. Cut those away. This guy's a little small, but back home, southern Ontario, you boys are allowed to keep bigger walleye than I can keep up here, right? You can get big cheeks. I can't get big cheeks. I get these little guys. Get it off like that. You can peel it with your finger. There's the cheek right there. Other side. Peel it with your fingers. There's a cheek right there. This is my favorite part though. Walleye shrimp, that's what we uh, do. It's a great appetizer. Not many people have tried it and I like it better than the cheeks. Uh, just tastes great. This little piece of meat, deep fried, you can bite it right off. You can even eat the tip of the fin if you want. Um, just get your oil nice and hot. Uh, I like to put popcorn in my oil, uh, especially when I'm out on the campfire there. I know my oil is hot enough to deep fry anything. Deep fry potatoes, deep fry my walleye shrimp. So once the popcorn pops, your oil's ready. Take the popcorn out. You only need two to three kernels. I'm not talking about putting 30 or 40 and making popcorn too, right? You just want to be able to tell when your oil's ready. Um, you bread it throw it in they will only take about 20 to 30 seconds guys appetizers are ready come and get it great man it's great that was his life he was gonna play in the big league